so welcome once again my name is john and this is our skill up innovation so what we are doing today is a continuation of what we have been able to do in the uh, previous video in that previous video we actually taught you how to add music to your video on canva do you know so canva today we are looking at how do you activate timing you know those animated videos that you want to create and all of them are just coming up they are just coming out at the same time you know you want the name maybe and a particular you know a element to first come in and the other one comes in later and the rest of them and the rest of them like that but you just see that they don't actually give themselves breathing space you know and you you really want breathing space you know this is how to do it we are i'm going to look at one of these video something that makes it easy for you to actually work with so that you can see so which one comes in first we can actually create our own but let's click on this and let's see one of them that we can actually use okay let's use this very simple one so that it won't be complicated so that you can you can easily apply them to what you want to do so now if you look at this now um this is an animated video let's play it so that you can actually see the animation in it can you see so this is how it looks like you know um looks like you know yes so everything comes in so now first of all you need to know that you can actually expand the timing so that it becomes longer than what you have there so um the timing they did the timing the timing was good for me the timing was good uh, but you can actually make it better so now let's click on it now um let's see how they all came in one after the other yes okay so it means that the first thing that came in was um this guy this guy was the first thing that came in. this image that i clicked on was the first one that came in so um and it was very fast you know um we can actually look at it so it's like a flip that's what they use you know a wipe it came in as a wipe and um you know this often confused me you know um the speed um the speed i don't know if you want it to be very fast that's what it is but if you want it to be slow i think if you want this to be slow that's what it's talking about no upon entry you know you want it to be slow upon entry you know now let's play it let's see how how fast it is now so yes uh -huh. as you can see you know it's very slow now so now this is what you do is you know it's very slow maybe we can actually increase it a bit so now but now that we have activated this we have actually increased the amount of time the speed we have reduced the speed we need to actually work on others too so for us to work on it we need to move this back and see what is the next thing that came in the first thing that came in was the image and the second thing that came in uh, the second thing that came in the second thing that came in um is this um the the the, the object the blue uh, the blue element you know was the second thing that came in no not this the blue element yes so we can actually reduce the speed you know it's very uh, the speed it if actually it's not the speed that we are working on in the real sense of it now let's click on it and um, of course let's go and uh let's go and activate the timing so it doesn't come out almost at the same time when that one was coming in so let's look at the timing so we want to reduce we want it to start maybe a little delayed compared to when the first thing came in so let's play it now yes can you see so it just came in now so it's it came in because after this one is uh, has actually initiated his own move you know can you say yes can you say now so that's what we are talking about so and um, then also let's quickly look at the text also what do we want to do with the text when do we want the text to come in? the text should not come in before the image 
before the image that will serve as its background so it means that we are going to move it back a bit so that it comes in after the image the um, the element that will make it um contrast to the background came in so that's what we are going to do so let's play so can you see so the text will now start coming in so that's how to use the timing you just click on the object when you click on the object you see the three dots here and you click on it and you will see um of course hide or show timing because the timing is shown in this one the time is already shown in this one that's why you have high time just click on it and it will hide the timing but if you want to show the time just click on it and say show the time so and at this point i want to say thank you for listening to me i hope we have been able to add something to you and if we have been able to add something to you please subscribe to this channel and activate the um notification bell and i'll, I'll say thank you for keeping up with me yes um my name is john Oluwafemiola, and this is i skill up innovation up thank you very much Thank you.